Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about the public beta of iOS 18. Now we're currently on the third beta of iOS 18 and we should get the public beta really soon. So in today's video, I will show you guys everything that you need to know and also how to install the public beta on your iPhone. Now, first of all, we're currently on July the 10th as of today and of course we should get the public beta, the first public beta any day now now as far as the release date goes last year apple has actually released the first public beta of ios 17 on july 12th and ios 16 public beta was released on july 11th so i would expect apple to actually do the same this year so i wouldn't be surprised if they actually release it today so it should happen either today or tomorrow if not it will be the furthest will be the next Monday. So that should be the 15th of July, but expect it in the next few days. So what you need to know and how to install the first public beta of iOS 18. Now, first of all, you need to know about the devices. Does your device support the public beta of iOS 18? Well, the oldest devices that do support iOS 18 are the iPhone SE second generation, the 10R, 10s and the 10s max and of course all the other newer devices do also support ios 18. the next thing that you need to know before you try to install ios 18 public beta on your iphone is that you need to back up your device now usually nothing will go wrong with these updates but just in case something happens you need to make sure that you have all your data safe and secure now to do that head on to your settings and then go under iCloud. Here we'll have iCloud backup. Go ahead and back up your device on your iCloud. If you don't want to do that or you don't have enough storage on your iCloud, then of course you can connect your iPhone to your computer and that way using a computer, you can back up all of your data. You also need to make sure that you have enough free storage in order to update your device to iOS 18 public beta. Now, if you're coming from iOS 17, this install will require probably around like 11 to 12 gigs of free storage. The update itself should be at around six gigs, but of course your device will require more free storage, more than the size of the update in order for the update to be installed. So make sure that you have at least like 10 gigs of free storage on your iPhone before trying to install the first public beta and now let me show you guys how to actually install this update on your device now the first thing you want to do is head on to safari and just visit the link that i will leave right down below in the description of the video is this one right here beta.apple.com and this is what you will see you can see it says coming soon new public betas for ios 18 ipad os 18 mac os and tv os also coming and right here you will have the sign up button all you have to do here is just tap on sign up and sign in with your apple id now once you're here all you need to do now is go ahead and select ios of course you can also select ipad os right there and then make sure you scroll down here until you see this right here where it says get started it says enroll your device you tap right here and you're good to go now you have enrolled your device right here it will show you a few like different instructions like backup turn on betas now to turn on betas all you have to do now is just tap here or just go ahead and open the settings app by yourself and once this beta is available right here underneath the dev beta you will also see the public beta all you have to do is just select the public beta come back here refresh this page and you will get the update for the public beta of ios 18. Now, before you move on and decide to install the first public beta of iOS 18 on your device, there are, of course, a few things that you need to know. First of all, you need to know that there will be bugs. There are actually a ton of bugs on iOS 18, even though it's a public beta. And by this time, Apple is confident enough on their software to actually let the users try it out. It is still a beta, so there will be a ton of bugs, a ton of features won't actually work properly. But of course, it is improving with every beta and it actually looks kind of cool with these icons. So probably a lot of people will try to install the first public beta. Also, you need to keep in mind that this is very important. The battery life is not the best ever. You can see right here the last 10 days 
100% right here, 10 hours, 8 minutes, right here about 85%, 7 hours, and then right here, 7 hours, 45 minutes. So you can see the times that I got on my device is actually not the worst thing ever, but it's not the best ever as well. But if you just have one device and it's your daily driver, you need to work a lot on it and you need to use it a lot during the day, then updating to a beta like this might be kind of risky because of course you will get a few less minutes, maybe even hours of battery life. So having all this in mind, should you update or not to the first public beta of iOS 18? So even though, as I said, the battery life it's not the best ever, even though it's not that bad with a third beta especially, and there are a ton of bugs and a lot of features not actually working properly, I think it's worth trying and updating to the first public beta of iOS 18. And by this time when Apple releases iOS 18 for the public to test it out, of course, they're confident that it's good enough and it probably is good enough for most people. Now the only cases that I wouldn't suggest someone to install iOS 18 on their device is that if you just use your device a lot during the day and you don't actually have access to like a charger or something like that all the time, so maybe that time you should consider not updating to iOS 18. Otherwise, if you just have your device and use it regularly during the day, I think you should be good enough with the device having iOS 18 public beta on your iPhone. Another thing that you should be aware before you install this update is that sometimes some like banking apps won't work on beta software, so make sure that you check those apps and whether your bank app is working with iOS 18 before you update. And also for users on dev beta right now, there is no reason for you to switch to the public beta. The only thing you're getting here if you switch is that you will get the update a couple days later. There is no difference with it. It's not more stable or things like that. It is the exact same update. It just gets out to the devs a day before it gets out to the public. So that's about it. So that is it for this video guys, as I said, I was 18, the first public beta should be out really really soon and don't be surprised if it actually gets released even today or maybe tomorrow. If it, that doesn't happen, then expect it at the beginning of the next week, most likely July 15th. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, this is everything you need to know regarding iOS 18 public beta. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and of course found it helpful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and of course subscribe for more videos. I will keep you updated with all the latest news and updates in regards to iOS 18 dev beta and of course public beta as well. So keep that in mind and subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one.